Hello and welcome to Cherry Lab today with a special tech video. This time we'll be looking at the three most popular keyboard technologies. Let's go! Here we have a classic representative of the rubber dome technology, the Cherry KC1000. In these keyboards, a plastic and plastic guide for the keycaps runs directly in the upper part of the case. Underneath is a two-layer switching foil with specially shaped domes made of silicone rubber. When the key is pressed, the rubber dome is pressed onto the switching foil, which closes its contacts. The signal is then transmitted to the actual electronics via the conducting paths. Rubber dome keyboards are inexpensive because they consist of only a few components, are very robust, <laughs> and, depending on the model, are also very quiet. They're very well suited for office applications and uh, okay for casual gamers. For a pro gamer like me, however, they're not necessarily the right tool. Electronically speaking, scissor keyboards, like the Cherry Stream, are identical to those that use membrane technology. This is because scissor keyboards also have rubber domes under their keycaps, which close the contacts on the switching foil when pressed. The key difference to the rubber dome keyboard is the scissor module underneath the keycap. Similarly to the rubber dome technology, scissor keyboards are very quiet and, thanks to SX technology, much flatter, which is why this technology is mostly used in laptops. In addition, it feels more pleasant to type than with pure rubber dome keyboards. At Cherry internally, we like to talk about a crisp keystroke here. Due to the delicate scissor modules, they're a bit less robust and due to more complex construction, a bit more expensive. In mechanical keyboards like the Cherry G80 3000 NTKL RGB, the PCB runs over the entire keyboard and each key has its own switch, which is soldered directly onto the PCB. A metal spring is used instead of a rubber dome, which ensures that the key is pressed back into its original position after it has been hit. Because the contacts in the switch are made of high-quality metal, in the case of Cherry MX even gold-coated, mechanical keyboards prove to be extremely low-wear, durable, and robust, depending on the switch lasting for 100 million actuations and more. The switches of a mechanical keyboard do not have to be pressed all the way down to trigger. This increases the probability that no characters are omitted if a key is not completely pressed down. People who do a lot of typing should be especially happy about this. The use of copper conductors improves signal speed. So it's no wonder that these keyboards are especially popular with gamers. Of course, it goes without saying that mechanical keyboards are also the most expensive. As we've seen, each of the three technologies has its strengths and weaknesses. And of course, regardless of whether it's rubber dome or mechanical, it always depends on the quality of the respective keyboard. Saving the good news for last, Cherry of course offers all of these technologies. I hope we were able to help you find the right type for you. Oh yeah, and if you like technology videos like this one, write it in the comments. But for now, Goodbye, and until next time.